We got logic somewhere in here. I just saw logic. There it is right there. So we got Logic Pro up. And we're using 11.1.2. Should be pretty simple to use here. And we're loading up. Okay, looking for the NPC. So I've already got the NPC in my instrument collection. So I was looking up for that. Of course, I generally pull that up. I use my NPC for making the uh, beat structure inside of Logic. I prefer the NPC over using what Logic has. But this is the way I'm going to use Logic. There you go. So now we got Logic up here. Close this project. Good. I'll make a brand new session now. So we got Logic open. And I need to make an instrument, software instrument. It's going to be an MPC. All right. MPC. Yep. We're going to go with multiple outputs, which is right there. That's good for us. Output stereo. That's good too. And we're going to just have one track. Create one track here. We got the one track. Now we're waiting for the MPC. See, it's grayed out here. And once it's not grayed out, we're able to use it. And so now we got our NPCs. There it is. The NPC is just turned on. So we got our NPC up. So what I want to do next, I probably want to load a track up. So uh, I think we're going to do that next. We're going to come down to um, here. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Load Recent. My recent is going to be this one right here. I loaded great. So I'll check my sounds. Perfect. So I got my sound set up there and I want to make sure I can get these tracks going on. So for one, I already know what this beat's going to be like. So let me just sort of play it back. I noticed it's supposed to be like 140, this track here. I'm going to go here to my BPMs and go 140, press enter. And then I want to play it from the top. Okay, good. I got that track ready to roll. Kind of loud here, right? So I'll pull this down somewhat, get below that zero dB. I want to pull this MIDI out from here. And now what I want to do is probably come up with some tracks. Let me get the mixer going on here. Now, what I want to do now is I want to track this stuff out. So I'm going to go to here. You'll see here this is the sequencer. I'm going to pull the track up first. I'm going to pull the sequencer up next. And now I'm going to hit this pad. See that pad? Its output is going to the program. You'll see here's the program. And this is the pad, pad number one. It's pad number two. That's going to the program also. The program here is Lo-Fi, that kit right there. And so all these sounds are going there. Now what I want to do in this case, I want to send them to separate outputs. Now in order for me to do that, I need to make new tracks. So I'm going to come to here, I'm going to close this out first. I'm going to go here, it says Options. And I want to create these auxiliary tracks. Here we go. And I just created one right there, right? That's an auxiliary track, right? I can come to here, and I can go to outputs. There's bus outputs, outputs here too. But these are instrument outputs for the MPC. So this one will be 3-4. I'll do more. I'll come back to here. I want to do new. And I want to do it again. So I'll keep doing these so I get enough to run these instrument tracks out. I'm sorry, right there, perfect. As you see, I'm keep loading them up here. Three, four, I'll make this one here. Five, six. This one will be seven, eight. This will be nine, ten. And we got uh, 11, 12 right here. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna do them all. That'll be the boring right here in this lesson. I want to give you an idea you can do up to, like, you saw that 32, or actually uh, they're in pairs there, so 16 separate auxiliary tracks. And you see that here, right? That's 3 fourths wrong. That should be 13, 14. So I'll go to here, 13, 14 right there. Great. And now I'm going to pull my MPC back up. Here's the MPC. And you see here, 1 and 2 is where we're going for the input. 
That's where you're hearing about the NPC. And three or four is empty. So we're going to three and four, five, six, the other continuation, which is the rest of the um, stereo outs. So now I'm going to come to hear this first beat here. I want to change this. So I'm going to go, this is pad, right? And once I go here to pad, see that pad right there? I can come to here and go to stereo out. There it is, 13, rather three and four. This will be five and six. That hi-hat right there will be seven and eight. That hi-hat there will be nine, ten. So you see I'm sending these outputs directly to correspond with what's in logic. This other bass drum will be 12 and 13. Let me see to make sure that is right. No, 11 and 12. And then this one be 13, 14. All right? And so, now, I'll move this over here. I'll bring this fader up here. I hit the sound here. So you see that? It's coming on three and four. I'll bring this sound up here. Bring the fader up here. Fader up here. Fader here. Fader here. And that's good. I got one more here. This one here. I forgot this one here. This is six right there like that. Right? And so now I can press Oxy play start. I'll mute the uh, MPC. And you hear the drums right there. Let's stop that. Now if I route the rest of the sounds, you won't hear more coming out of the MPC. Now I've got my MPC app up, of course, and I've made eight tracks. I've got eight Axi Auxiliaries. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And their corresponding MPC stereo inputs are right here, right? And if I go to here, we'll see that I've got these kick drum, clap, hi-hat, hi-hat number two, kick drum, snare, open hi-hat, sort of like open hi-hat. And now what I want to do next, I need to route these sounds. Now I could play them back, obviously. I can come to here from the top, hit the top button, go to here, press play start, And it's playing. It's pretty good. Okay, it's playing. But what I want to do next, I might want to just record the audio in. So I have three audio tracks right here. Audio one, two, and three. I'll close the mixer out. You'll see them right here. I'm going to mix it back up by pressing X. I want to make sure I can route these signals out. So they're already set for input. I'm on the input row right here. It's bus 1 input, bus 2 input, bus 3 input. So now I want to make sure I can route the auxiliaries, like on a mixing board, directly to those tracks. I want to come here to output. I'll select bus output. You see they're already lined up here. See that? So I know where I'm going here. That's bus one to audio track one. I'll take my second sound here, and I'll go from bus to audio track two. I'll do the same thing here. I go from here, go to bus, and hit audio track three. Pretty simple stuff, because I want to record the audio in. Now to hear this back, I'd like to probably test it. I'm gonna get my pad up here. And you can see right here, Audio 1, so I hit this kick drum, it's coming on this track right here, an audio track. I've got the record button selected right there, of course, and this I right here for input monitoring, so I'm hearing back the track uh, without recording it so far. There's the clap. Now, I got sounds here, but sometimes the sounds might not be as loud as you want them to be, so that sound sounds pretty good there. I can always uh, look at this sound and come up with it here. I can raise the auxiliary three, raise the sound up there. 
Yep, higher. But I'm gonna do right. I'm gonna make it easier for me. I'm gonna hit three, and here in the NPC, I just bring the order levels up here and make them live if I want to. I'm not going to zero dB, and as I see it here on the mixing board, that's pretty cool there for this one. So I got them all, all three. Now, all I really want to do at this point probably is uh, bring this down a hair. And now I want to record them into Logic. So I'm going to close my MPC window out right here. And we're ready there to record. I'm going to go back to the top. I'm going to press my record button here. I mentioned I was playing. Turn that off. Stop it, and there it is. I've got three tracks already set up here. This looks kind of low, right? It looks like really low. This looks pretty good. This isn't bad. I can always go back and re-record them, but you're getting the idea that it works. Now, to even hear it back to prove that this is going to work, I can go to solo here. I'm about to take off these record buttons here, and I want to hear these tracks back separately to make sure they're recorded properly. And that's them right there. So that's how you can record audio directly in after routing your MPC as an app into the system, setting up the auxiliaries, and then setting up the auxiliary to shoot to the audio tracks through the bus and recording in the audio track. Now, if you've got any questions, you can always access at Sample Kings. You can join. It's only 20 bucks to join, and you can ask questions all day long. Let's make a difference, and you get help, and you can also get a free hour of lessons. So I'm Doc. I'll see you in the next video.